Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Chasm. So, the last episode, at the end, I bought that magic axe, except I kind of uh, save scummed a little bit, because I didn't save afterwards, because I didn't like it. So, whatever. Um, it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. It basically lobs an axe in front of you, but it just didn't have enough range for me, for now. I mean, you could upgrade them. But I think I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to buy any of these. Uh, the boomerang is a little tempting, but I'm going to buy the shield. Because that seems like it could be very useful. And... Uh... That's very, very tempting as well. But let's hold off on everything else. Let me just equip the shield and see what this is like. Okay, cool. So permanent? No. Wait, did I just land on something? Whatever. It uses a lot of mana. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to stand by my opinion that the magic knife is probably the best. I mean, unless you upgrade. Oh, you. <laughs> that was the best boss, though, so far. But yeah, unless you upgrade the axe or something else. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the Molotov is just amazing. Maybe the boomerang. I think the boomerang would probably be... I'd probably like that. It seems like that would be fast, too. Okay, we got Ghost Worker. Got 107 HP, nice. Alright. The whip I still really like, despite it doing less damage. And then this was... I just gotta see, so I know how to get back here. Um, is this a mistake? I don't know. It better not be. If it is, then I'm gonna... Oh, you could just do that. It alternates between them. Okay. At first I was like, no. Okay. So we're in the keep. Let's continue here. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time to make progress through this new area we have found ourselves in. Just don't get hit too many times. I'm actually going to, since, ah, whatever, we don't need to do that. We're probably going to level up fairly soon. I was going to backtrack to the save area, but, eh. Unless things get really difficult over here, it would be nice to find another secret wall. That was cool. That felt good. Felt good on my skin. Rubbing that red lotion. Okay, that sounded very weird. <laughs> it gave me more HP. Man, sometimes. Sometimes I get into a little bit of a strange mood. Any of you who are new to the channel, hello. Welcome. This is, this is Queen Trell. 365 to 396. Look what a what a gorgeous vixen she was. Sorry, your majesty. Um So yeah, sometimes I get into a strange moods. It's why people love me, right? Or hate me. <laughs> oh, we are going to need something here for the potion lady maybe. What is this? And Caro Entry number one. I have loyally served King Trell ever since he was a child, but I must face the fact that he is no longer the man I once knew. I came here with his caravan in the hope that I could reverse the madness that has overtaken him, but I fear he is already beyond redemption. Why did the king choose to rebuild his castle here? It must be connected to the cursed catacombs that lie beneath us. The answers I seek must be hidden somewhere in the labyrinthine tunnels which snake through these mountains. I pray for the Watchers to illuminate my path in these dark times. Hmm. So the king, I'm, oh, we got another one. Shin guards hold down and press jump to perform a slide. 
Yeah, man. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now... Does this damage things? Oh, this is awesome now. Look at that. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. See? That's... Oh, wait. That's one of the reasons why... We should backtrack now. But that's one of the reasons... Ooh. Ooh. Giant dragon boss. Why Metroidvanias are amazing. Just... Oh, we can't do anything here. No! No! I mean, it's gorgeous looking. Looks like Mars. Aren't we going down, like... I guess we're... It's a mountain town. Okay, the mine is at the top of the mountain and we're off the side of the mountain. Sure. But yeah, that feeling you get in a Metroidvania, like right now, when you get a new movement ability or item, or just any item that that you know allows you to, oops, make more progress in other areas you've already seen. You're like, oh my god, now I could go back there. It's such a great feeling. I love that. And this game, gotta say, like, I'm really, really digging this game. Ow. Like, there were some mixed reviews on... St oh, look at this. We got the hand axe. What? As a drop. Um, wait, what am I doing? This is what we're doing. Uh, do 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 So, hand axe. 35. It's probably... Oh, it actually looks... We're going to use that for now. <laughs> it reminds me of Symphony of the Night. Like the... Woo. Okay, actually, you know what? Never mind, we're good. Just the animation, that it swings to the side like that, that's very Castlevania-ish. Okay, we already... So... Hmm... Are we going to backtrack all the way? I think, yes. Let's backtrack all the way. This is the type of... I, I don't want to miss anything early on. So we're going to go here. Okay. And now... Now. We should be... This is going to leave us, like, right near there. Okay. So now we can go that way. Is there anything else? I know there are rooms that we went in. Boop. <laughs> that there are chests in, but we don't ha yet have the- there's one that uh, we have to break the floor and there was a red chest. I don't- I think that's someplace in here in the mines, but we don't have that ability yet anyway. So let's just go straight this way. Come on, man. Ow! No! Go! Oh, dude. Nah. These bats, man. Bats. That went right through them. They're definitely placed in a place. Placed in a place. <laughs> Some of the mobs are placed in areas where, like, it maximizes their annoyingness. <laughs> so we could do this. And there's another chest. Keep going. Forging hammer. We got the hammer for the blacksmith. Excellent. So now we could craft things. We have three... Five. Never mind. I was like, we have three ingots. We have five iron ingots. Hello, you. Well, stoke my furnace. You found it. Ever since I lost my hammer, I felt like a scabbard without a sword. Now that I have it, I can craft new items for you. Just let me know which designs you're interested in. Okay, craft. Wow, so we could get a cutlass for five, a pernosh, silver helm, silver sword, gold ring. Is that demonite at the bottom? <laughs> Gilded hammer. Wait, what does the gold ring do? Um, magic. Okay, it's better magic. Gilded hammer. Okay. Gold armor. Uh-huh. Uh, it's intelligence. So you could be like a battle mage. 
Platinum chain. Very high intelligence. We have no platinum. We can buy platinum bars. Platinum mail. Five of them. But then our magic goes down. See? Medi- Oh, wow. Meteorite ore. Huh. Helmet made of a strange alloy, yeah. Defense up to 14. Wow. Hang on, I want to check with that other person real quick. Boom. Oh wow, that's all he had. Oh, he's only got two gold. Whatever. So he has two gold. Ingots. And, uh, we needed four. Yeah. So we can make the gold ring, which will give us 18, but everything else drops. Whatever. We're just going to make the silver helm. Boom! We're going to equip that right now. Hang on. So. Equipment. Get rid of this thing. Let's get this thing. Perfect. And then we're going to sell the chain. Keep that on. Okay. So, I've been backtracking around the catacombs for a bit, and then I found this. Now, chances are, yes, it's just a chest, but it's the Book of Incantations. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, I thought it was just going to be a chest. Uh, didn't know it was going to be that, obviously. I think there's a couple places in the mines that we can progress through. I'll meet you guys there. All right, so floor two. Yes, right here. Now I'm tempted to check the other one first, but let's just go this way for now. Oh, wow. So this leads to another area. Okay. We're at least somewhat a new area. May head, or it may uh, lead us to rescuing another townsperson. I got to check this one first, though. I'm not sure. Okay, let's just skip you. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Wow. So those guys are one hit kills now. It has a very gradual, like, strength increase where you power up yourself very gradually. Oh, look at that. We got another iron ingot that I may never use. I guess we could sell them. Okay, so let's just fall down. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's the dark area. We're not moving anywhere. Yeah, we need some kind of... Whatever. Okay. I forgot all about that. So that's the dark area. <laughs> Got to remember that, even though when I saw that last time, who knows what episode it was, but I was like, oh, I got to remember that. Of course, we didn't remember it, but, you know, whatever. Now I should. I should definitely remember that now. Okay. So we got, like, this other area over here where it's, like... Crushing ceilings. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> fun times. Alright. So I don't know. This might be the... This might be where we have to go. Well. So far, so good. We got another token. Alright. Glad I didn't get you crushed. Insta-jibbed. Oh, hello. We got, like, lizard men now. With giant... Whatever the heck that was. Giant... Buster swords. Uh, covered in blood. <laughs> got another bat. But they That looks like a different bat. It's like a... Pink-eyed vampire bat. Don't want to catch pink-eye from one of those. Oh, no. 
Trust me on that. That vampire pink guy is pretty nasty stuff. Cool. All right. So we did find a new area. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go here first. We get another buff. Another token, too. You feel protected. Good. I like feeling protected. Feels nice. All right. This reminds me kind of of like the clock tower in Castlevania. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what are you doing? Okay. We got melon sludge. Ow. Ah, oh, you hurt. Not nice. Uh, do I want to go all the way up? I don't know. We'll check this way first. We're going this way. Hey. Stop. I'm just going to sit here and tank it. Hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't want to slide into them. It's not, not an attack. I had to try it. Oh, man. Well, we're not backtracking. It's too much to go through. I almost got myself crushed. We. We get the lantern now. A tool used to illuminate dark places. Now we could go back right there. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, we do have to backtrack. Oh well, should be easier, hopefully. I may have to heal. We haven't been getting many healing items. That's the problem. We got a carrot. I'm gonna save it. We have plenty of HP for now, but. All right. You know what? Dodge, buddy. I'm talking to myself. Oh, you want to know what else I learned? Which I totally forgot about right before this episode? Bumpers, baby. You can't switch your actual primary weapons, but using the bumpers on a gamepad or the A and D keys on a keyboard, you can switch between all your magic weapons. And how come... Okay, there we go. So now... Let's try to shield that against something. Good, it does damage. Okay. Let's not... Oh, I forgot. I didn't see you. Go away. Ah. <laughs> so we have to go down to the dark area, but... Oh, I'm glad. Okay. What is up here? Oh, man. The industrial zone. Um, okay. And another buff. Fortunate, okay. Well, I'm gonna feel fortunate as soon as I'm out of this area and don't have to do these platforming... this platforming extravaganza anymore. So... Well, we're not going up that way. That's to Howling Peaks. <laughs> and what do we get here? Yeah, nice. Okay. So, bunch of max HP. Um, can I kind of... Sort of. That was fine. No big deal. Alright. And... So yeah, we can't go all the way up that way. We gotta backtrack over this way. Perfect. Perfecto. See, I don't know how long I've been recording this one because I'm going to edit out. Oh my God, okay. Ow. <laughs> 
I gotta edit out some of the backtracking that I did. <clears throat> so... I think we... Oh. Ugh. Totally. I was looking at the time on my second monitor. Looking at my OBS preview window. I've been recording right now for about 15 minutes. But obviously... Whatever. I'll just wing it. This one might end up being shorter than normal, which should be fine. It may even end up being longer than normal if I had a... I don't think I stopped recording briefly. I think it's all one take. Anyway, just thinking out loud, I guess. I guess. Still, the whip is the best weapon. I don't care. Don't care. The whip is the best. Okay, now... We could just walk in here, no problem. Alright. And we get another artifact. The bird hat. Blue Jay. We got a bird hat. Oh, it's not one of these? Oh, it's a... Okay, whatever. I'll wear it. Maybe. Stylish hat featuring an orange feather, level one. <gasps> I know we just made the, uh, the silver helm, but we have a magical bird hat that we could level up. We just did get the Tome of Incantation, too. Or the Book of Incantation. So... Okay, so this, what did this do? Did that do something? Did that just open this? Oh, it did, probably. Yeah, it opened that gate. So is this bird going to attack things? Is this bird eventually going to level up and become a giant fire, fiery phoenix? I don't know. But we can go through dark areas now. That's the only dark area I knew of. Um... This all the way up there, that's a jump that we can't make. That over there, that's we it's vertical, can't climb, can't climb walls yet. Maybe the bird will fly us up. You know, can I? I don't know what the bird does. Let's just see. Let's go up here. Where are we going towards the yeah. Wait, which way do we want to go? Probably the quick travel way. Because right now I have absolutely no idea at all where I have to go. Possibly the, uh, the garden. Ow. Maybe this bird does something. Or maybe it's just flying around. I don't know. No idea. Oh, did you attack? Oh, I'm still fortune. Oh, no, I'm not. That wore off. So, I don't know. We're gonna head back to town. That much I do know. But I don't know ex where I have to go at all now. I haven't seen any other dark areas. Um, level three. Was there anything there? I don't think there was. I think... And then we've finished all the mines, basically, except for, like, we have to fly on two of the different areas, which the bird might do. I don't know. But let's not fall down there. Let's go here. We're going to go back to town, see if we can level anything up. Um, we want to go to this one over here. And then I'm going to have to stare at the map again and see if there's any place, like, we might be able to go. Hey, buddy. We, I didn't find your stashes. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I could sell you a ruby. Uh, iron ingots. I'm going to keep them for now, just in case. Okay, nobody else. nobody's over there. 
boop -a -doop, boop -boop -a -doop. I'm kind of afraid to try that slot machine again. Hello, you. Okay. So we could buy healing potions, too. We should buy one just to have it. Cost 150. We're gonna buy one. This we don't we haven't needed that yet. Antidote, we haven't been poisoned yet. Not yet. I'm sure we're approaching. Probably in the garden. Probably in the garden. We're approaching uh, an area where we might get poisoned. Alright. We didn't find your deck of cards yet. Nope, not yet. I'm gonna try this. We have three coins. Let's go. Alright. Bar. Bar. 250. Okay. That's cool. So that's not the, the thing I was thinking of. Let's do it again. We have the coins, or the tokens. Let's try to get, uh... Lucky sevens again. That's probably the best thing. Let's not get the skull. Bar, whatever. Ah, oh, man. One more try. Gotta time this correctly. Okay. Alright. Ah, no. Almost had it. A split second off. That's cool. I like that. I love mini games in games. Okay, you. Let's drink that and then talk to you. You found my book of incantations. Perhaps you already know that gemstones have magical energy locked within them. Oh. <laughs> Some gems are more potent than others, but more difficult to find. By using the incantations in this book, I can fuse that en energy into your spells. Let me know once you are ready to begin. So we just sold all of our gems. And I can't upgrade the bird. I think the bird probably levels up with you. Like, you have to keep the hat equipped. And as you get experience, the bird probably gets experience too. Whatever. Well, that's unfortunately annoying. Whatever. Fine. Just me and my bird hat. Pocket watch. That's probably a quest item. Flower bag. We're gonna find a baker or something to to make food. Some somewhere. I don't know how much like how big this game is. I have no idea. <laughs> you big guy. So that's probably the last one. So we have 28 out of it was like 80 something. 87. I don't know. I'm going to end this one. Uh, but I have no idea what I have to do right now. We just got this ability to see in the dark. We can climb off, off ledges and we could slide through those little crevices. But I have no idea where to go. But we got the bird hat. Stylish hat featuring an orange feather, level one. Yeah, it probably levels up with you, I bet. Cute little birdie, it's staying on forever, I think. I might have to sell that silver helm. Anyway, guys, all right, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time in Chasm. Peace out.